Yesterday I showed you my knife collection. Today we're using a knife to cut some wood. Well, hello there, I'm Detroit. If you haven't seen yesterday's video, click the link at the top of the screen or in the description where I show you my full knife collection. So pause this video, watch the other one and then come back to this one. Okay, so I will be sculpting a bunny. I'm not an expert on wood carving, so I wanted something easy enough to get back into it. And since I have my little Henry jumping around the apartment, I figured it would be a nice homage. The wood I'm sculpting is balsa. This is a small piece that I bought off Amazon a while back. It's kinda cheap, you can buy a box of 15 of these for less than 10 euros. And honestly, it feels pretty nice to sculpt. Ah, just so you know, I won't be giving many tips on sculpting. I'm starting from the bottom, basically, and so I don't have the expertise to teach you. I can still tell you about knife handling though. First thing first, don't use a knife around other people. That should be a pretty obvious rule of thumb. Situations can happen and other people can be unpredictable. One bad movement from them, or from you, and you could hurt someone. Now, on protecting yourself, the more important thing when carving is to not carve towards you. Always slice outwards. Following that comes a second good rule. The fingers that hold the piece of wood should stay below the piece of wood. Don't let them peek out, or your knife could rip and slice them. Or you just need good finger protection. There are cut-proof gloves you can use to make sure your hand is protected. Unfortunately, I don't have gloves on hand, which is a good pun. What I did as a temporary solution is use band-aid. I have one on my index, my major and my thumb for the hand holding the piece of wood. That won't prevent a slicing motion from cutting my flesh, but if the knife rips and the blade goes perpendicular to my finger, as long as it's straight, that should hold it off. Additionally, the cushioning of the band-aid makes it easier to push onto the knife or on the wood while not losing grip. This carving is going fine, I believe. What's fun with carving is that you can go at it without much thought. After removing a bit of wood, you just have to look at the symmetry and make sure it's alright. It's a lot of push and pull until you're satisfied. It is also very satisfying by itself. The motions and the sounds are part of the experience. Unfortunately, I didn't record the sound, so I can't make an ASMR segment, but that's alright. It's my first time recording a carving video. None of my cameras are even centered and the light is way too strong. That's okay. I can only do better the next time. I am also not sure if using the black tray is the right thing to do for filming. It certainly helps my desk to use a lunch tray though. With all the dust and wood chips, it is a nice protection for my mouse pad and all the stuff I have around here. Carving wood, sculpting, whatever you want to call it, it's really cool to do, but at the same time it has a nice problem-solving element to it, especially when you're a beginner like me. I can definitely see what I want to achieve, but most of the time I don't know how to, and that's part of the fun. Like, carving a concave slope is pretty easy, but when you get convex, for example around the head of the bunny here, it's much harder and much more interesting. I did also watch a few tutorials, just to be sure I treated my knives properly, what sort of movement to avoid in order to not break the blade and stuff. Like, these blades are really strong and sharp, but only use straight. If you twist the blade around the wrong axis, it will break instantly. So I watched tutorials to avoid that and also to make sure I didn't take unnecessary risks while using dangerous tools like this. Again, this video isn't a tutorial, I'm just sharing the experience. If you want to know how to do this and much much more, go look at an actual tutorial. I heavily recommend the YouTube channel Carving is Fun, that's where I went. They are the ones who roused my carving spirit and made me want to do it again, and properly this time. I chose to get Beavercraft knives because of their recommendation too. I also made a first bunny out of wood, just like I'm making now, a few months back and I sent a picture to Carving is Fun on Instagram and they were really nice and helpful. Again, genuinely a good dude and great videos. I recommend you check them out for your carving questions and needs. And that's about all I wanted to say about this carving. I'm not finished with this 45 minute work though, so I'll let you enjoy the rest with the lofi music and I'll see you at the outro.
Hi, it's me again. I hope you enjoyed this little bunny whittling. That wraps up nicely this mini-series of video. Again, check the video I uploaded yesterday where I take you through my knife collection. If you just found me on YouTube with carving related intention, you probably won't subscribe, because what I mainly do is drawing videos. I draw with ink on paper every Thursday and digitally every Sunday. You can leave me suggestions on things to do, drawing prompts and stuff in the comments, and hell, maybe even a completely different thing like carving. If you'd enjoy that, I probably would too. I'm Detroit and I'll see you soon. Bye!